the U.S. Navy tested, new hypersonic body shape prototype was fired and tested at White Sands missile range from an electromagnetic gun. We were able to gather data, prove the ability to gather data for new hypersonic shapes and take that data and share it with academia and our partners. We were able to prove our models, test out our components, technologies and subsystems, Adam Jones, Advanced Hypersonic and Guided Weapons Division Head, Naval Surface Warfare Center. Several key areas of ongoing inquiry, likely to be greatly advanced by this prototypes, are what Jones referred to as boundary layer transition and thermal heating. Each of these are crucial areas of hypersonic flight necessary to ensure flight path trajectory, speed, targeting and in-flight thermal stability. Long-range hypersonic weapons, temperature is, among other things, Crucial to hypersonic flight as projectiles traveling at Mach 5 speeds can easily overheat and either explode or veer off course. To counter this risk, engineers regularly build hypersonic projectiles with special advanced, heat-resistant materials to ensure a smooth, uninterrupted flight path. These dynamics also pertain to Jones's comment about boundary layer, a term referring to the airflow surrounding a hypersonic projectile. Weapons developers work to ensure that the airflow or boundary layer surrounding the weapon in flight is smooth, turbulent. We are learning how to fly at Mach 5. We also looked at the functional areas across hypersonic supplied materials, high temperature and advanced structural materials guidance, navigation control and hypersonic body shape, Jones said. How soon might this projectile and gun be operational on board a warship? White Sands Missile Range New Mexico, has a desert ship test environment to assess naval weapons systems from the test range in the desert, yet further kinds of integration and testing may be needed before the weapon can fully integrate into a ship's weapon system. However, firing hypersonic weapons from the deck of a destroyer or cruiser may not be that far away, and it is something which promises to reshape the paradigms for maritime attack. For instance, ship commanders could fire off a hypersonic missile to destroy the target in minutes if not seconds. The principal advantage of hypersonics is simply time, the speed at which they can hit an enemy target massively shortens the response time for enemies. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.